the Iranian military uh, uh, forces, they were the most powerful in the entire region of the Middle East uh, uh, before the revolution. As I said, uh, the Iranians uh, spent billions of dollars to buy uh, the most sophisticated uh, planes, uh, tanks, and uh, missiles, and everything uh, they needed really uh, directly from the U.S. At some point, the Iranians could get the equipment that the American forces did not. Uh, so it shows really the closeness uh, between the Iranian military and the, uh, the, the, the U.S. military forces. Many, many of the Iranian officers, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they were trained in different uh, uh, military schools in the U.S., in the U.K., and so forth. And then when the uh, 1979 uh, revolution happened, the Iranian regime and the Iranian uh, armed forces, uh, they were identified uh, by the nationalist movements, but also by the clerics, the, the religious uh, 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 movements, uh, to be too pro-American. Consequently, uh, uh, they had to be dismantled. Uh, so after the revolution, uh, a number of uh, very high-ranking uh, generals of uh, the Iranian army, uh, uh, navy, and uh, uh, air force, uh, they were uh, uh, executed. So the, you can say that during the first phase of the revolution, uh, the Iranian armed forces, they were decapitated. Uh, many of uh, those officers also, they simply uh, uh, took refuge, uh, went to exile.